Hello everyone, Alien Volt here. And this is my first day of hawking. Hawking is a mech warrior type first person shooter. After playing Titanfall recently and I saw previews of this, I had to get it and try it out. The main difference being in this is these machines seem a little bit more agile. They seem to do just a little bit more, but you also can't exit them. The game's been in development quite some time and has received several awards. Another big difference is you can actually heal your mechs, or repair them rather. The key to this seems to be sticking with your team, but unfortunately I just lost mine because I don't know the maps. No idea if that was me that got him or not. The uh, killing in this is very similar to any other first person shooter. Whoever gets the last shot gets credit for the kill. My mech happens to be very lightweight. Doesn't take nearly as much damage, but should de dish out you know decent damage for a beginner. I don't know how armored all these other mechs are. You can buy upgrades online with real cash or you can just earn them, which is what I plan on doing. Pretty sure that was my kill. Tell you what, I'm really impressed with this game from the moment I saw the videos. Uh, I lost that one. Almost had it. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to repair a little bit here. Alright, so far, and the shallow stuff down here is actually like a health potion type thing. It's a mech essence of some sort that, uh, Maybe an electrical wave that powers your mech by regenerating health. I don't know exactly the proper definition for it, but I'm sure that would... Whoops. That was my guy. I don't know if there's friendly fire in this or not. I don't think there is, but... Oh, I think I actually got a little bit of lag there. So far the servers have been very, very decent. Um, this is my third match, so I haven't really played much. Nice. The uh, only problem is, is that you run out of fuel really quickly, which does regenerate which is kind of an odd concept, but it does regenerate. Um, so you can continue to jump and leap like that, but if you watch my fuel bar, see how it's going down? Then when I stop and I let off the turbo, um, it starts to slowly build back up. Where'd that shot come from? Now the hover uses fuel even more rapidly than the other one, but 
they got a couple guys down there firing at one guy that's pretty smart, but... Hey, that's a wall. Alright. Repairing. That seems to be the key, just keeping your mech up, not letting it get low like this guy is right now. Getting out of the way and healing up real quick before the enemy can get to you. Because if they actually attack you while you're healing, you take more damage. This guy's over here trying to heal right now. Nice, but my guns also overheat. That's what happens when that orange uh, line around my sight reticle goes up on the side and it gets full. That means my guns are overheated. So right now I am going to repair. And basically it's whoever gets the 40 kills first or the time runs out. And whoever has obviously. Whoa. Well, at least I got the one before both of them got me. That odd looking mech right there with the. almost looks like a TV screen. He, uh. I believe that's the sniper one and he does a lot of damage. Ugly to look at, but does a lot of damage. You can actually upgrade the chassis to make them look just about any way you want. Well, you can pretty much upgrade almost every part on here, but it looks like your secondary weapon. And that one only upgrades and um, changes upon leveling your mech. And it looks like there's probably about five levels for a mech. That's from what I gather unless more appear after uh, you earn more and after you earn each one maybe another one appears and because they only fit five on the bar at one time or about five is a cap I'm not certain well, I'm probably gonna die here but there's too many low I gotta go after that got there much sooner than I anticipated. But I have to say this game is incredibly fun. The graphics are actually really good. At least comparable with Titanfall. And for an indie game, I'm very impressed. Not that any games are don't look good, it's just that normally this is something that I would expect to be a triple A title. It just looks amazing. I mean it plays very well, it's very responsive. Honestly I just wish I knew about it a year ago when they were it was basically free to play at that point. They were hurting me. Almost had him. 
I just couldn't seem to get away. I'd ran most of my fuel out dodging and I couldn't fly up. My last round was only my second round and it was pretty pretty good. I wish I would have recorded it, but I was gonna wait until I at least understood the controls. I don't know what that is, but it jams everything. Pretty cool actually. Yeah, I got MVP, that's pretty awesome. So I guess I did better than I thought. I guess at the end there you can do emotes to like kind of taunt the other team. That was pretty cool. I leveled up as well. If you go to the garage, I bought the Nemesis package, so rather than getting three mechs in the uh, package that's out right now for $10, I ended up paying 30 and I got all those mechs, which honestly just gives you a wider selection to choose from to play. I don't think that it really uh, makes that big of a difference. The main thing I think is just the paint schemes that would end up costing you points. It looks like everyone must have left. Unfortunately, I think that's going to do it for tonight, and I only got one match in to record, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked Ty or Hawken. Sorry to say Titan. It's very similar, but that's not exactly it. I also own Titanfall, so I'll be playing that a lot when it comes out as well. But I think this is something that I'm going to continue to play pretty often. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it. And it's cheap enough to get in on the base level right now at $10 for three different mechs to have. You get a, an assault one, which is kind of a medium class. You get, let's see if I have them here. I believe you get something like this one, which is a scout. It's the lightweight one, the sniper type. And you get the assault, which is more of the medium type here. So you get the sniper one. the medium kind of just all around decent damage and armor and then you get a tank which is something more on the lines of this or even like this brawler here I I don't remember which ones you actually get I don't think it's any of the ones that I have here um, they have individual names or special ones that you get with each package rather than just the standard ones but it's it's definitely worth it I actually ended up buying three more accounts tonight for my kids to play with me. So I'm looking forward to this game. So far it has not disappointed. They have a really good tutorial that uh, teaches you how to use the mechs and play them before you actually get into like a PvP type situation. They also have co-op that you can play and I don't know if the co-op's against enemy AI or whether it's against other people yet because I haven't actually tried it. but. I think that's about it for tonight. It doesn't look like anyone else is queuing up for this. So I don't know whether I'd need to 
unqueue and then requeue up maybe to get into a different group or whether because it's late that everyone's already uh, calling it a night but hope you liked it please give me a like if you do and subscribe and I'll uh, see you next time <laughs>